The retail store environment is in the process of being fundamentally changed by the impact of passive RFID. There is no area of commerce where the unique properties of this technology can be put to better use than on the store floor. And nowhere can you find a more direct correlation between a data collection technology and the measurable bottom line. Consider inventory tracking. This is a consistent pain point across the entire retail industry. In a world where consumers have ever-increasing options for accessing goods, it is absolutely critical that inventory visibility be accurate and up-to-date. If it is not, then, without even being aware of it, store shelves can sit devoid of critical, popular stock, and customers will go somewhere else to get what they need. It affects the virtual store floor as well, as the problem of inventory accuracy stretches back to online fulfillment warehouses as well. And what makes the situation worse is that the goods may be in the building, but nobody knows where. This results in shrink, not just theft by employees and customers, but goods misplaced and forgotten that either don't sell at all or are found late in their season or even beyond their season and are thus introduced to the store floor as an immediate markdown item. In other words, they never had a chance to sell for full price. This is a direct attack on the retailer's bottom line. How bad is the problem? It has been reported by the NRF and other sources that average inventory accuracy in the retail industry hovers between 60 and 65 percent. This is bad. Standard barcode-based supply chain and in-store inventory tracking procedures are clearly not working. There is a clear need for a data collection technology that carries almost infinitely more speed while not disrupting store operations with cumbersome multi-part processes. The answer, the RFID handheld reader. In this case, the Alien ALR H450. Think of what happens in a typical store at inventory time. The merchandise employee takes a barcode scanning gun to a rack of garments, to a wall of denim, or to a long shelf full of hard goods. Then, painstakingly, each barcoded tag is exposed, one by one, with the employee taking care, maybe, to align the barcode with the scanning pattern. And then, finally, maybe hours later, the inventory is complete. Maybe. Did everything get counted? Did things get counted twice? Now, consider this alternate retail universe. The same merchandise employee takes the RFID scanning gun, the same apparatus, the same size, the same feel as the barcode scanner, only this time he or she stands about three feet from the product. The trigger is pulled. The employee moves the gun at a fairly rapid pace up and down or side to side, never touching the garments, and the beeping starts. When the beeping ends, only seconds later, the job is done. All tags are read. All product is accounted for. There are no mistakes. But what about misplaced items? They're still automatically consigned to the disappeared file or to the deep discount rack, right? Wrong. The Alien H450 is equipped with a feature we call a Geiger counter. Simply put, we can now seek and find any lost tagged item. The employee has a discrepancy flagged on, let's say, the ladies' blouses. They are expensive, but we're one blouse short. The system says it hasn't gone through point of sale. It's somewhere in the store. Well, where could it be? The employee sets the reader to find a particular tag, the lost one. The scanner looking for that tag. The beep gets louder and louder as you approach the room. After a cursory examination, there it is, hidden under a pile of jeans. But what if it's not? That is where RFID at point of sale and the entrance doors come in. By placing RFID at the POS counter, you tie your inventory to POS in the same way you did using barcoding but in a far more compelling way. When goods are paid for and checked through with RFID, the system assigns a special code and places it in the RFID data stream. 
Then, when the customer walks through the main exit doors, Fix readers there read the tags, looking for these special codes. If the goods pass, fine. If the goods don't have the special codes, that means they did not go through POS and were not paid for. You see, RFID at the exit door looks for exceptions and alerts security when they occur. You might ask, what's the difference between RFID and existing EAS systems? If someone steals a garment or anything else from the store, EAS will certainly sound the alarm. The difference is that an RFID-enabled system will not only tell you that something is gone and also sound the alarm, it will tell you what is gone and the inventory can be adjusted. This is real closed-loop management, closed-loop control of the store floor environment, and it stretches to the returns process. If the special code assigned at POS is present, when somebody returns an item, the process is made more efficient by RFID. If it is not present, then fraud and possibly theft are identified. This is process management using RFID as the key tool. This is data collection as a game changer. Do you have doubt? Retailers have reported increases of up to 65% in inventory accuracy. Retailers have reported up to a 40% decrease in shrink, all as a result of implementing RFID. There is a new best practice in retail, and it is the implementation of passive UHF RFID.